another area of the brain or the, the limbic system that I wanted to focus on is the basal ganglia. Now, if we go back to here, just so we can recollect, this had to do with movement. This had to do with fine motor movement in your eyes and facial expressions. So Parkinson's and MS, which is, um, seems like it's much more um, kind of commonplace. A lot of people are speaking on it. Some people in fitness are focusing on just this aspect. Uh, we actually use Nobosa technology with a lot of Parkinson's and MS, which we'll go into next week, which is kind of different sensory pathways. But if you never thought of the basal ganglia aspect of these conditions, I want you to start thinking of that. So studies who look, studies of Parkinson's disease have shown that there's different deficits within the basal ganglia. And if you're familiar with Parkinson's, this is where they start to get deficits within the dopamine, um, dopamine producing neurons. So they have decreased levels of dopamine, uh, one of the medications for Parkinson's is L-DOPA, which is essentially just dopamine. So you're stimulating, and that's going to play an important role in their movements. In MS, the basal ganglia does not deliver neurochemicals with fluidity, causing tremors, spasticity, weakness, and involuntary movements. Right. So we're thinking of how Parkinson's and MS both have these effects in large, gross, voluntary movements. However, I want you to remember that the basal ganglia is also very important to eye movements, okay? So eye movements. Eye movements are going to be linked to, remember, the reticular activating system. So if you have a client or a patient and you're trying to think of overall optimal performance in this individual, you want to make sure or focus on that someone with Parkinson and MS, if they are not stimulating the reticular activating system, this is gonna have an effect on their focus. This is going to have an effect on their memory recall. They might feel like they lack some motivation. All of those things have to do with tapping into the basal ganglia, the uh, brain stem, kind of the brain in general. You have to have optimal eye movements to tap into those different aspects. So now right here where it says these saccades, that is rapid eye movement when you're kind of focusing um, from one object to another. So it's kind of like a fast eye movement, um, think you're trying to make a decision that you're, I don't know, you're trying to find your friend in a room of people, right? You have to kind of keep looking from different object, object, person, person, person. That's called the saccade. So when you have a basal ganglia injury, such as Parkinson's and MS, you start to lose that control to be able to do that, okay? Now, your eyes play a very important role in your wakefulness, your RAS, your reticular activating system. That's going to have an effect in everything else as far as movement. So some of the risk when it has to do with Parkinson's and, and MS is also controlling the movement. But how can the eyes, if you move the eyes, can you control the movement and somehow improve their balance? This 2018 study, which is a brand new study, showed that the integration of eye movement exercises and vision stimulation actually improved balance in those with MS. Super cool. So you know that you're stimulating the basal ganglia, 